All right, folks, we are back. You can continue to, to nosh on your meals as we continue the programs, continue to finish up on the silent auction back there. But I do warn you, you're going to want to pay attention. You're going to want to hear this next little bit because we have a lot of fun stuff coming up and a lot of wonderful people to honor. One uh, bit of business here. When we put the names up on the screen before of the people sponsoring the $10,000 table, we left a couple names off. We want to give them some recognition right now. Jim McNamara and Mike Siegel. Jim and Mike, thank you very much. They work at Goldman with Reg, which I'm told is a place that might have some influence, I'm told. Uh, it is now my uh, distinct honor and pleasure to introduce to you somebody who is a magnificent actor, uh, someone that I've uh, watched for decades. I remember seeing him in the 1990s, back when I thought I was cool and saw off-Broadway plays. I saw him in Three Days of Rain with my then-girlfriend, who's now my wife. And now that I know I'm not cool, I see you in the Avenger movies as, uh, as Howard Stark, so I've come full circle. It's my pleasure to introduce four-time Emmy Award nominee, multiple SAG Award nominee, actor, director, writer, phenomenal human being, John Slattery. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Goso for asking me to be a presenter at this year's gala. I, uh, I learned about Goso's amazing work from my friend Wendy New. You honored Wendy. You honored Wendy last year for her dedication, lifelong dedication to criminal justice reform and her commitment to helping ex-offenders find employment with her company, Hugo New. Goso's work to help young men get out and stay out of, prison, of the prison system is simply awe-inspiring under the great stewardship, stewardship of Mark Goldsmith. There is no one uh, more deserving of this award than my friend Rudy Valdez. I first met Rudy when my son Harry was seven years old at the City and Country School here in Manhattan. Rudy was an assistant teacher at that time, and he was one of those teachers that all the kids loved and all the parents loved. In 2008, we learned that Rudy's sister, Cindy, had been arrested and sentenced to mandatory, a mandatory minimum of 15 years. She was ripped from her home, leaving her husband and their three daughters, ranging from six weeks to four, year, to four years old, behind. Cindy, a nonviolent offender, mother of three, sister and daughter, was locked away for nine and a half years until President Obama granted her clemency in, in November of 2016. So I'm here to present Rudy with the GOSO Award for the nine and a half years he fought to free Cindy from prison. As you can all imagine, her family was utterly shocked and devastated. Their feeling of hopelessness was all-consuming. Rudy decided to devote his personal and professional life to helping Cindy and their family get through this horrific injustice. Rudy had already left the teaching uh, profession to pursue a career in filmmaking. He worked as a cameraman so he could fly Cindy's kids to visit her. And over the course of these nine and a half years, they, were moved, they moved her to prisons in Illinois, Florida, and finally Kentucky. And with each move, came the stark reminder that Cindy, Cindy was falling deeper and deeper into a system over which they had no control or any voice. Over these very difficult years, Rudy never lost hope. He went to countless hearings on Capitol Hill. He met with nonprofits and caucuses, knocking on every single door from politicians to nonprofit organizations and advocacy groups. He donated his time and service to organizations involved in the criminal justice system. Rudy tirelessly studied the law. He knew the moment there was any change in sentencing, he had an alert on his phone so he could, so he could uh, act on it immediately. He was obsessed. Wherever he could try to make a difference, have influence, he did. To him, there was no alternative but to fight. Along the way, Rudy met many inmates and their families that had been torn apart by the system. Many of the inmates' children were serving their time in foster homes while their parents languished in prison cells. You have to wonder what people do who don't have a Rudy. 
He told me earlier today that he didn't even dream his fight would end with his sister being pardoned, but that he fought just to give people a voice within the criminal justice system and in partnering with GOSO, a voice when they exit the system. So I'm very honored to give this award to my friend Rudy Valdez, who gives a new meaning to the word brother. Thank you, John. I really appreciate you being here tonight. Uh, it's very difficult um, for me to write speeches. I like to speak from the heart, so if I get emotional, um, bear with me. I'll probably crack a joke or something to, to ease it. Um, I've struggled a lot about what to say up here because, as Mark Goldsmith said, it's not about the honorees tonight. It's not about anything but these guys. Um, I do feel like I have to talk a little bit about a couple of people who are here tonight um, that have helped me. My, uh, I grew up very, feeling very disenfranchised, um, feeling like I didn't have a voice, um, watching my parents, you know, for lack of a better term, the working poor struggle to have a voice and, and, and give me and my siblings opportunities. And, and while they failed time and time again to reach that pinnacle that they were always searching for for our family, they never gave up. I failed the eighth grade. And my mother and father used to yell at me a lot about my grades. And, and for the first time, they didn't yell. They just sort of sat there and were speechless, you know, and in that moment, in that silence, I realized, and, and, and it hit me like a wave, all the things they sacrificed to give me a chance. And uh, I didn't know where that would lead me, but I knew that I had to be somebody that they could be proud of. So I, I set out to be that person, and then years later, I'm really condensing this, but I, I, I saw that look again when, when the federal government took my sister away. And not only did I need to have a voice and make them proud, but I needed to fight. And we're gonna show a little video that, that is emblematic of a part of that fight. So I'll wrap up quickly now, but um, there are some people that I have to thank. This evening is very special for, for a lot of reasons. Um, I've had a lot of support from some wonderful people. Uh, Wendy New, Sam Bisbee, Jackie Bisbee, uh, my beautiful wife, um, have helped me throughout this journey, have been a part of me through, through all of this. And a year ago, Wendy New was honored at this very event, and, and I was sitting at, at this table over here. and. During her speech, she decided to take some time from it to tell my sister's story, to mention me and mention our fight. And um, there's been a lot of change throughout that year. And uh, this year, I'm standing up here, and my sister is in the audience. <laughs> Don't take all of my applause, Cindy. <laughs> what I hope this story is, what we've done over these past nine and a half, ten years, is emblematic of a, uh, be symbols of a system, a system that's broken and needs to be fixed. Goso is such, such an example of what we can do for the people entrenched in this system. People coming out who don't have, for lack of a better term, a Rudy. You know, people who come out that don't have anything, that don't have anyone. I walked into the GOSO offices and, and met Mark Goldsmith and I was completely blown away. 
And as you saw these guys come up here and say, say things like, I belonged there. This is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm doing. I have the confidence. I'm doing these things. There is no amount of money you can put on making somebody feel that way. Everyone is here for a reason tonight. You have the opportunity to make an impact. I hope that you, if you are able to, reach into your wallet and help people. We have an administration that is double downing on privatized prisons. We're gonna need many, many gosos. We're gonna need a lot of people to help these people entrenched in this system. People should not be a commodity. I hope that you're part of this fight with me, with GOSO, with all of us. Thank you.